Hi there, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a review of a game that I played recently in a online wingspan tournament. Um, I guess before we start, just a little bit of background about the tournament. It's a player organized tournament on Discord. Um, it takes place about once a month. And typically we get about 10 to 20 players. And I can definitely see the number growing. There's no price for the tournament, at least for now, but it's still a ton of fun. I really had a good time. And I must say that the players are really good. The skill levels are above average. I saw many competitive scores in the tournament. In any case, I'm going to put the link to the Discord in the description. So if you're interested, please do check it out. So this particular tournament was a double elimination with about 20 players. And this is the final game one. And I'm going second. So looking at the end of round goes, three of them has to do with nest type, three different nest types. So first thought, if I can start with a bird with star nest, that would be fantastic. The birds in the tray are not that good. They're expensive and really not that great options for early game. So I don't think my opponent is going to pick up any of this. Maybe the woodpecker, because it does have the cavity nest type that's good for round one. So let's look at my hand. Not bad. I see some options here. Good option. Bonus card, ecologist for sure. Typically you can at least score four points and typically you can score six if you play nine birds. Um, definitely thinking about Condor, Titmouse, and Netcatcher. So you got low cost, Forest Bird, Condor gave you bonus card. Pretty good for early game. And it's nice that I can use the worm that I gained from Netcatcher to pay for Titmouse. I think at this point I'm also considering whether to pick up American Castrol. Again, I can pick a mouse and use the worm from Netcatcher to pay for the Castrol. And the Castrol also have the cavity nest type that's good for round one. But I think I ended up deciding against it because the hunting power of Castro is not as good as the other hunting power where you check you check the wingspan. And Titmouse will give me a guarantee point every time I gain food. So I think Titmouse is a better option here. Okay, my opponent played the blue jay. 
It is kind of expensive for early bird, but you do get grain from the bird feeder, so... Playing the net catcher. It's good to make sure you play your first bird with enough... with at least two spots for eggs. Yeah. So playing the corn door first would probably be a bad idea. Because say if you need to delay the game by laying eggs, it's good to have enough space for the eggs. Alright, my opponent gained food. I'm going to play the condor here in wetland. So that can help me to draw more cards. The bonus here are not great. Um, the platform builder is going to be hard because I already have three birds that are not platform. And typically the bird feeder is not that great either. Um, playing five birds that eat grain, that doesn't happen to me a lot, at least. And really, you're only getting three points out of it. So that's very little incentive to intentionally play birds that eat grain, just so to score the bird feeder. So my opponent gained food again. That's interesting. Maybe they have big birds coming. Anyway, I'm going to lay eggs just to get ready for drawing cards. I don't want any of the cards or any of the birds in the tray, so I'm hoping that maybe my opponent will pick one of them, so it will reveal a new bird for me to pick. But I think that's unlikely. Okay, the mallard. That's a pretty good early bird as well. So you draw two and discard one. No, you draw one card. Yep, so you gain one card net. That's pretty good. Drawing birds here. Dallas J, not good. Three food, very hard to play in early game. So I think I'm considering whether to pick up the woodpecker or draw another from the deck. <laughs> really not liking the J that I drew. Oof. <laughs> A fly catcher. I remember this. Drawing two expensive birds in early game. Really, really messes up the game a little bit. Okay, so let's see. So they, I think I've decided to play the Stellas J instead of the Flycatcher. Potentially, and use the flight catcher for additional food.
think they're probably going to draw birds. Yes, they did. They did drew the woodpecker. Okay. So should I play the Stellus J first or the Tip Mouse? First. I think I'm going to play the Tip Mouse because I do need it for the first round goal. Also, I might change my mind about playing the Stellus J. It's three foods for five points. It's kind of expensive. The grain is not guaranteed, and I don't even know if I need those grain. So we'll see. So there's only two more turns. I definitely need to lay eggs. to score the end of round goals for round for round one. So for the last turn, I don't want to gain food because I don't know what food I'm going to need. I don't want to draw birds either because I don't like any of the birds that's in the tray. And since I'm going first the next round, I'll get to see three birds from the tray. So I decided to just lay eggs. Okay. I have a few options for wetland here. Yes, playing one more bird in the wetland would be good. I think the Grebe is pretty good. One food, you gain one card. But it is zero point, so that's something to consider. Oof, another three food birds. I'm not liking this. I'm thinking whether to pick up the Grebe. Again, I don't like the fact that it's zero point and it's a platform, so it doesn't help with any of the goal. The crane is not bad. Three wow food. So if I decide to play the Stellar Jays, that will give me a grain and that catcher will give me a warm. So next time when I pick up food after I play the J, I would get maybe five food. So playing the crane is not a problem. All right, I drew tree swallow. Tree swallow is good. It's only round two early. So if I play the tree swallow, I'm definitely gonna do going to do need to do a few more card draw and that would help me to shuffle some cards and gain points when I tug. So tree swallow is not bad. If you compare the Swallow and the Grebe, yes, the Swallow is more expensive, but you get three points and potential to earn more points. And the Grebe is zero, 
and there's no way to make more points out of it. The group do let you see more cards, so you, you get to look at two and then discard one. The tree swallow only lets you see one card, but you score the one that you took. So I think overall tr the tree swallow is a nice one to get instead of picking up the greed. And again, the net catcher give me the warm for me to play the swallow. The snipe is a good one too. One food for five points. Pretty good. And it has the ground nest that's good for round three. End of round go. Definitely hoping that I can draw bird for the grassland so that I can score points for the second end of round goal. So my opponent doesn't have any bird in the grassland either. So this could be an opportunity. Considering whether to pick up the snipe. Hummingbird. I do like hummingbird. And it can be playing grassland. Definitely a keeper. Bow nest. That's good for round four. That's a good draw. Yep, as I say, the crane is pretty good for the ground nest, and I'm gonna I'm going to get food from the hummingbird. So three food birds are not as intimidating. Should I play save and pick up the snipe? But really, if I decide to play the crane, the snipe is going to cost me two eggs. 
So, Bell's Virio, very happy with the draw. Again, a star nest, that's great. Two worms, very modest cost. And I get bonus card. Pretty good game from this draw here. Definitely playing it in the grassland for the second round bonus. So right now I'm probably thinking V real in the grassland. So I can lay three eggs and gain food. Of course the hummingbird also gave food to your opponent. So that's something to consider. Opponent gained food again. to lay eggs to get the bonus for second round. I need food so the grub for the Vireo. Or I can use the grub to play Stella's J too. I'll need one more food for the J. a pretty good one on the surface it looks expensive three foods for three points but i i would say it's pretty good for early and mid game because it helps you to build the egg engine in the grassland and it does have six spots for eggs so good play here so we are probably going to be tied for the second round goal.
not really that great for the selection in the tray. One point birds are kind of meh for round three. I probably need to do another card draw before I gain food. And yep, my opponent did not pick up any of the birds. The Mockingbird, that's gonna help him to gain extra eggs. The Raven! It's too late to play the Raven in round 3, even though it's great for early game. So bye bye Raven. Also I just don't need that many food for the remaining bird that I need to play. The push, the bush tit is great because I can play in the grassland, so that would fulfill my ecologist bonus. Three birds in each habitat, so that would be six points. Eastern Kingbird, yep, again, not great for a late game. Unlikely my opponent is going to play more birds in the forest, maybe at least one more. I do like that both the Vireo and the Bush Tit has Star Nest. That's going, that's going to help me with the end of round goals. So, crane in the wetland, vireo, bush tit, and grassland. I do need cards to tuck under bush tit, so I will have to draw cards. Maybe one or twice. So at this point, my opponent already has a pretty good engine going in the grassland. It's five eggs, or so five points each time they take the grassland action. And I don't have any engine. So I'm hoping to make up the points by getting good bonus card. So hopefully that's the case. Okay. I need one grain in the bird feeder for the J to pick up. Pick the mouse so that my opponent don't get to reroll easily. Okay, taking the grain because I need it. So I just have enough food to play two of the birds. 
I'm probably going to use the hummingbird to gain enough food to play the bush tit. And my opponent gained food again. I noticed that they pick food quite often. A lot more time than I did for sure. I wonder what their game is. hoping to see <laughs> I was really hoping I would get Ulogis or Omnivore which give points two for each bird that eats wild food but at least I can score four points here for the cavity nest by playing the bush tit so not the worst Chicken, another bonus card. Hmm. I don't play the parry chicken very often. It's three foods for a bonus card, and bonus card is always a gamble. But I think it makes sense here for my opponent because of the ground nest, and they're trying to build a egg engine. So the four slot for eggs is gonna come in handy. So if I play the crane, I will have three birds with ground nest. options here. I don't have any birds that eat mouse and I only have one bird, the swallow that can hold four eggs and the bush tit also. So maybe two points from the breeding manager. I would say overall not very good draw with the bonus cards. and pick up food for bush tit.
So six more turns. One turn to play the bush tin. Five turns lane egg. But only get three points from laying eggs. So Alright, the fish crow. This is interesting. One more bird. No, one more food for the bush to. Lucky me, got a worm. Just kind of counting points here, I think. So one turn to play the bush to and oh yep that's round four so one turn to play the bush to four turn to lay eggs but I only get three points for each laying eggs so that's 12 points but if I draw a card, I can get three cards. I'm just counting points to see how close the scores are going to be. I know it's going to be close. Um. Play the bush tip first, and I gain two points from the ecologist bonus card. So now I really have two options. Um, I have four turns. I can just lay eggs four times. So that's twelve eggs, and I can get food from the hummingbirds and turn them into eggs for three times. So. 12 plus 3, that's 15 points. Um, but to caveat this, I'll be giving my opponent 3 foods. So that's something to consider. Alternatively, I can use one turn to pick up cards. So I spend 1 A to pick up 3 cards. And then the remaining 3 turns, tuck those cards under bush tit. Um, so spend 1 A but tuck three cards, lay three eggs. So that's six minus one, that's five points, plus nine eggs. So that's 14 points. And I can still turn two food into eggs. So take the food from the hummingbird and turn them into eggs and points. I can do that two times. So 14 plus two, that's 16. So that would give me one more point than just laying eggs and I will only be giving my opponents two food. So I think that's the way to go. Pick up cards and then lay eggs for three times. to go for drawing cards. Doesn't really matter what cards I draw at this point.
So basically, I'm averaging 4 points for the last 4 turns. And for my opponent, it's 6 points. So there are 4 eggs in the grassland, mockingbird, and the quill, 2 more eggs. So 6 points each turn. So they are going to catch up pretty quickly if they haven't already. Again, counting my points, six from eco six from ecologists, four from the cavity nest, and two from the breeding manager. So that's twelve points. Wood stock. That's a good play. Five points guarantee plus more from the bonus card so they are potentially making more than six points in this turn well play It's always a risk to give your opponent food in late game. Save has a big bird and he just needed that food to play. But the thing is my opponent already have a pretty good grassland engine going so he really don't need to play bird to gain more points. And as I say I have the advantage of turning that food into point, but my opponent don't, so I think that should be fine. I think in terms of points, um, I think we are gonna be tied for the end of round bonus, so that's not gonna count. I think we have pretty similar points for birds. So I got 30. Oh, and I think my opponent got 40 something. But I do have cash, food, and tuck cards. That should make a for it. And I have about 12 points from bonus but my opponents also have three bonus cards so my feeling at this point is it's all going to come down to who has more who has better bonus cards or who score more points from the bonus cards So two more turns, I'm going to lay 10 eggs. Says Phoebe, what a classic. Um, that play, so one, two, three, three bow shapes, so that's three eggs. 8 points minus 2 eggs 
So that's a six points play, pretty good. Plus, that extra bird can potentially earn points from the bonus card. So, another good play by my opponent. By the way, that, that was what I was afraid would happen. Giving my opponent the food that they need to play the Phoebe. food. I don't need that food and definitely don't want to give my opponent that food. Even though we're unlikely that they are going to play any bird. They have no food. Yes, I, I, I did give them that one food that they need to play the Phoebe. So I think I win the bonus for last round, but since we tied for the first two and they won the third round, so it's a total tie from bonus, end of round go. Alright, birds, yep, 40 points, ooh, that's not great, that's Scoring quite a bit from bonus cards. It's gonna be very tight. Oof. <laughs> it's a tie. I mean, I knew this was happening. Um, yeah, I, I think this was my first draw ever since I started playing Wingspan. It was a very good game. We each got three bonus cards, so that definitely add a lot of tension during the game. Um, just trying to guess, you know, how trying to estimate how many points your opponent would score from bonus. Um, I knew towards the end that the score is going to be tight. Definitely didn't think that it's going to be a draw. So that was a lot of fun. Very fitting for the final for the of the tournament. And it turns out optimizing the last four turns for that one additional point makes all the difference here. And really the game could have easily gone to my opponent if they have picked up a better bonus card. So if they have scored just one more point from the bonus card, they would have won the game. So a very good game overall. Um, and we ended up rematching right after this game. Um, I'll post a second game soon. Um, as I said at the beginning, if you are interested in the tournament, definitely check out the link in the description. I will see you in the next video.